remember doing that banging, bro, all night, man. Straight bitches, man. I feel like yelling out the fucking chuck and say, hey, whoever doing that banging all night, you a straight bitch. See, so, yo, you know who it is. You know who's doing that banging? What's up, is it? I can't tell you how much I know exactly what he is. He's down there. Bitch. I'm in mental case to shit, man. I can't be like the way I used to be. I can't address this individual. I can't assault this individual and put my hands on him. So I'm going to try my best to prevent that at all costs before it happens, of course. But sometimes that's easier said than done, you know? I control my anger very well, but sometimes I don't. I feel like I'm ready to snap. I, I feel like I'm ready to hurt somebody the first that tries me. We ain't gonna do somebody before we do something. There are medical issues every day. And when it comes to the officers and their response, there is no sense of urgency. It's like they don't even care about any of that. At that point, everyone was just in an uproar because once again, Erica needs medical attention. Okay, well, we got one up here that just had a seizure upstairs, and then she's down there. Okay. Need to call the ambulance, this bitch. That's what they need. Need to be careful. Sometimes it looks like Erica is just fainting. She's very frail. She doesn't eat. And she tries to eat, and she throws up. Today I leave quarantine and I'm so excited. I can't pack my stuff fast enough. If I want to get out of this place, you have no idea. Walking into the new dorm, it's so much better than quarantine. Seeing how it's an open war, seeing how there's a TV there and just the environment. It was a smaller area, less inmates, which is always a plus. Thank God I'm out. Quarantine was like the death of me, <laughs> most definitely. Deshaun, he's a 17-year-old kid, and just hearing his story kind of broke my heart immediately. He's here for shoplifting. His bond to get out was only $150, but he's still here. I was 17 and I was dumb at the one point too. You know, we all deserve a second chance, no matter what we've done. You got no, no dad around there? Um, or um, a boyfriend? I had a dad. Yeah. All right. Yeah. 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 That's why you're here. That's the building. Crazy. You my story, boy. Okay. I got $75 for you to get out of here. You mind going with us $75? That's it. His bond was $150, and when I heard that I wanted to pay his bond, I told him that I was going to get him out of jail. Some other guys also heard the conversation, and everybody said they wanted to contribute. So we're supposed to call his mom to see if we can bond him out. You think you got to promise him not to do dumb? He's young, and he just has to learn. 
but I believe he has a better chance to stay out than come back. He come back in here while I'm here, I'm gonna beat his ass. <laughs> it's Deshaun's birthday and we offered to bond him out. Yes. But yeah, um, so apparently his mom said no because she had to be the one to sign him out. Maybe, you know, his mom feels like he needs tough love or that he needs to sit back here and just really learn a lesson. You need to figure out a nice life change, man. Don't do I do like people don't stop how to fight? It's not about that. How about you just teach yourself how to stay out of trouble and do the right thing and become a man, you know what I'm saying? You self dependent. Nobody will give you a chance. Still in We giving you a chance now. Hey, I see you snuggles. <laughs> I see you. Yesterday was a rough day, and I just miss my daughter. I miss my family. It's hard to be in this situation. There we go. Hello. Are you going to say hi, Dada? It's Dada. Dada will be home soon, baby girl. Every time I see my daughter in that chaos, it's just killing me, man. It's killing me. It is. I did time before it. Now, I thought this would be a cakewalk, but the mental anguish I'm experiencing is something else. I don't like the way I've been feeling lately. Ah. You know, honestly, I, I don't even know how I feel about this. I kind of just want to go. I do. When the camera crew came in, I talked to the captain. Shower. Push the button on the shower. Come on. We got a grievance, Liz. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to wreck the actual The captain immediately gets on his phone, calls somebody, and maybe an hour later, the water gets fixed. Yeah. Oh, shit, I'm here. Yeah. I believe, honestly, the only reason the water fixed was because the camera crew came. Feels like they put on a show whenever you guys are around. That's when they're the nicest. That's when they want to come through and make sure that we have everything we need. But when you guys are not around, it's it's bad. I can dig it. Ooh. That works right there, guys. Yeah. That'll work. You can you come do the fun. Do once the water gets fixed, I was excited. I was like, yes, you know, and I was loud, but it was 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So a guy next door, Nicholas, he was asleep, and then he comes out of his bed talking about, oh, it's loud in here. I can't, I was almost asleep. Listen, you only had to get that damn loud over a shower. It's a shower, man. Y'all want to be loud, when y'all want to be loud, but somebody else being loud, it's a problem. I ain't on my dad's shit, man. Damn, y'all need to find it too. See, it was me who got loud, so... You addressing me right now. You know, I tried to let it go, but he kept talking about it. I just said, damn, yeah, all I said was y'all just got all loud. Right. So you addressing me, because I'm the one who got loud. But y'all be loud. It's really, really aggravating to see how people just act like they can be disrespectful. Please don't test me. What you want to do, man? I ain't like that. I'm ready to bang. That's what I want to do. What's up? What's up? So angry, and I want to take my frustration out on somebody. You ready to make this shit stand, bro? That's what you want me to do. All you gotta do is act like you want to fight, and I would've. 
He's just one of those guys who talks a big game, but at the same time, he's just trying to put on a show. Nah, you over here running your mouth on You shouldn't even be opening your mouth on, man. It's to be him. That man want to get excited, you welcome to get excited. I'll get loud with it. It wasn't necessarily gonna come to blows, but I probably would have slapped him, I'm not even gonna lie, just because of his attitude. But I kinda knew he really didn't want no smoke. You don't wanna right now. Just cause you need to get your in that man. You dress grown ass man, you better be ready for that I respect Bull Rider. You know, at the end of the day, Bull Rider is one of the main people in the dorm. So I'm glad he was like, I got your back. I know he ready to thump. I know I'm Always ready. Wish them would. Why'd you get the signal? Well, my mental clarity is in question here. These people are already making me snap. I've already snapped like three times. I called the CO a hoe already just because he wouldn't respond to me and ignoring me. Calling some guy that kicks on the door all night a bitch. I just feel the tension. And that's how I was when I was locked up before. You gotta be on edge. You gotta, you gotta have that tension. But here, if I do anything to anybody first, I'm gonna be charged. And am I, and am I tapping out right now? I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like I'm ready to snap. I do. I feel like the first person that tries me, I'm ready to snap, you know? I don't want you to do that. This is my mental clarity is at stake here. I don't feel like I'm in jail. I feel like I'm more in, in an insane asylum here, you know? And then I see my daughter on that screen every day. Ugh. Sounds like what you're feeling is what all inmates experience. But see, out of all the years I did, I, I never had the option to leave, and I do now. I don't feel like I'm in jail. I feel like I'm in an insane asylum. The groundbreaking experiment returns for the first time ever with seven former inmates.